guys, so then we'll be bringing you a nice little tutorial on how to build this awesome TNT booster cannon which has been a while making. And this will basically just use less TNT than the previous design I made and also be a little bit more accurate as well which is awesome. So here we go, quick demonstration of it now. As you can see the first bits of TNT there will launch the other bits of TNT forward up the barrel um, and what this does is it kind of, it makes most of the TNT closer together. So what you're going to want to do at first is make a design like this. So you want this to be a living block wrong and then you want a half slab at the very end like so and you want this little break three blocks from the end like so and then place water on those two bits. Now you want to place four dispensers like shown on each side and then go ahead and place four more dispensers on top of those four dispensers on each side. If you don't know, if you crouch you can place the dispenser on top of the dispenser without opening it. Now go ahead and pl place two wool blocks be behind our road dispensers, add repeaters and put the repeaters on full delay. You want these in full delay, that's important. Really important. You could block your cannon if you don't have these on a proper delay. And then just bring the redstone down like so. Like you know like in a classic cannon thing. And then just do exactly the same thing on the other side. The nice thing about cannons are they're kind of identical. So yeah, just add four ticks there again. Yeah, cannons are pretty symmetrical, which is nice. And then just bring the redstone down here. This is just a rough cut what I'm building right now, it might be changes later on the video. And yeah, we'll see, so okay. So you can actually build a cannon out of anything you want. So as you can see this is this is what you want to be having. So you want to go ahead and add two more uh, repeaters, like so, and then just go, add two dispensers right there. Now you only want the dispensers on one side, you don't want them on both sides. Now I deleted those two repeaters so that you wouldn't have any blowing up problems, but that's not a problem. As you can see, you just want the redstone dust on top of those two repeaters, on top of those two dispensers there, and you want those new repeaters you placed on full delay, like so. Now what we're going to do is add the last dispenser that we'll be using for this design which is going to go right about here it's in. and then you can build all the staircase down if you want this will probably get to what you'd like to look on which just makes the cannon look nice and easy Now you want to go about 4 or 5 blocks up and build a a little kind of platform going right down the centre there like so and you want to add 11 repeaters to that. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Oh, that's not bad to place this one wrong here. And then you want your piston to go right there. Just come grab a piston. See, so piston will go right there. Like so. Now I have screenshots um, during this video showing you how many repeaters go where, what ticks they are, but all those repeaters right there going up the centre have to be on full delay. That's what you want. And then you want to make a little staircase going downwards. Like so. So if I can have a screenshot up on the screen. Right now, bam, there you go. Um, that's where you want to place all the different repeaters. And how many repeaters you want to place and how many ticks they all have. This will hopefully help out with any confusion you may have about, you know, repeater placements and whatnot. And they're all in full delay. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10 repeaters. And then you want to add a, another 3 here. You need to make that little uh, platform type thing a bit longer, then by all means go for it. So yeah, you want to add another 3 right here. And then put those all on full delay. And then you're also going to want to add another two on this side for this dispenser. 
Hey, uh, yeah, you can just go over ahead and get rid of that. That stuff is. So I mean, this cannon um, is pretty good. It's pretty awesome. It's a cannon that I've definitely used personally. I don't do as much raiding now, but if I did, I'd use this cannon. And then you just want to have a line of redstone going right onto the right onto that dispenser leg. So just put those dispensers on full delay. And then you can go ahead and fill in those gaps to make sure nothing's got any chance of blowing up whatsoever. Then you want to go ahead and just add a button to the design, give it a little test. So as you can see, um, you always want to do a test before putting TNT, because then you see problems like this one. You just pop it off on top of that and it'll work. Always do a test, it's really important, just make, your, make sure your can is fully functioning. Awesome. And then you will end up with this. So, now that this cannon will fire about 18 shots. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Have a nice day. And goodbye.